That's right, boys and girls. Step into the time machine. I found one of the old intros. I also found this old video of me playing the AT2 on... Do you know what this is? Do you recognize this? This is Oasis Palms. This is what Oasis Palms used to look like. This is me in the world's stupidest tank. <laughs> in fact, then surrounded by a whole bunch of low damage auto loaders. Remember when the Lukes was like good for 90% win rate? Yeah, this is original Rockfield. I found this video as well. This is how the game used to look. In fact, I'm gonna show you a game from Port Bay from 2017, in January of 2017. Now, this isn't the original way the game used to look, but this is the only or the oldest raw footage I could find uh, of a saved game file, 2017. That's like, well, it's about five years ago, nearly six years, in fact, January 2017. So it's no surprise then that I'm gonna show you today what the game looks like now on an absolute top-end device and it is pretty freaking incredible but let's talk a little bit about <laughs> what we were playing with back then you can see the radial hit showing the direction the damage came from you can see not everyone is using camo there's the original unnerfed grill with the full engine power and the better dispersion and the bigger alpha and there's me running look at the way the numbers come up and this is old school blitz this is where you came you came to the edge of port bay and not much has changed in fact with the way the game works like that but a lot of the tanks that you see now aren't into the game and a lot of the play was very very different like look at that e4 out next to the bridge going up and down trying to get side shots like you don't see that kind of td play these days <laughs> The E50M, like, I used to think the game looked amazing. Let's have a look now at how the game looks. And this is me running the new iPad today. That old game would have probably been on an iPad Air, uh, which is a long, long time ago. This is, look at the shadows. Look at the, <laughs> look at the suspension. Look at the HD skin. Um, this is running an iPad Pro 12.9 inch, uh, with 16 gigabytes of RAM, I think an eight core GPU and uh, an M2 chip. And I mean, YouTube's probably gonna compress the crap out of this thing, but this just looks so ridiculous. I mean, this looks better than Mortal Tanks PC did back in the day when I used to play Blitz as a mobile game. And I was like, wow, this is incredible. This is just a phenomenal, phenomenal effort. The way the game appears now the the graphics are intense and the ipad is crazy we're playing this at 120 frames per second with 16x anti-aliasing so 16 times anti-aliasing full shadows full everything uh you know suspension is turned on you can see the dynamic suspension is turned on everything looks amazing and canal is my favorite map and canal looks great like you can see the the skyline the horizon and all that looks good but there's no slowdown here. Everything is absolutely perfect. The dust coming off the back of the tracks. This is pretty amazing. And I was I was playing on the iPad Pro and I couldn't record on it because there was like this buzzing noise happening and there was a patch that came out today for it, an update for the iPad Pro, which actually fixed that and gave us this. Now let's go back to our 2017 gameplay. Bearing in mind that 2017 is not as bad as it was. Um, in fact, 2017 is a long way into Blitz, but I mean, it's, I mean, the, it's funny to me that my controls are still the same and everything looks the same there, but, and I mean, look at the chat, the chat's still just as friendly as ever. There's Death Stars at the back. I wish I had older raw footage. I've just lost all the hard drives with all the really, really, really old original footage from pre-2017. It's kind of sad. I was looking today and I was like, oh man, I really wish I had that footage. And I mean, I've had a look at the videos online and you just can't download them and put them back up because it just looks, it looks criminally bad and then it gets recompressed by YouTube. So it's not really a true indication, but this is the raw footage and it actually looks pretty solid. Like. For a lot of people, this is what the game looks like nowadays. But then let's have a, a look again at the game nowadays. This uh, this iPad Pro is I gotta I'm not gonna lie. I mean, like it's pretty filthy. It's 
It handles this thing so nicely. Uh, and there's no way around it. This is just... I love how he chose to hit the leopard instead of me. He's very happy with that. Um, look at the... I mean, it's just... I love this light tank too, by the way. After watching FT Silver go round at the... Um, at the Blitz Ultimate Cup, I can't keep my hands off the T100. It's just fantastic. Um... And look at the shadows as we're going through the underparts. Like the dynamic lighting, the speed, the tr the track traces. Like just falling down here so quick. Yeah, baby. <laughs> How do you like them apples? I love playing light tanks. I'm hopelessly addicted to light tanks. Always have been. I mean, it's no surprises there. Everything I've ever put out there has said that lights are my favorite class of tank. And, uh, yeah, there's no, no surprises. Let's go back to that 50M game and see how it goes. Because this is actually a game I was really stoked I found. Uh, we've gone to flank at Port Bay. And it's a 3v5. And look at all the people going town. Like, the metas back then were so different to the metas now. Uh, yeah, just... I just love this. Um, I love the fact that... Oh, I like shooting Death Stars, but look at the way the damage numbers come up. Like, the game has improved just so dramatic. Ah! Oh, code Brown moment there. The game has just improved so dramatically that it's it's difficult to believe it's the same freaking game. Not just the quality of the graphics, but the quality of the interface. Um, I do miss being able to say reloading. I told you, wrong team. I don't know. I don't know. Look at me telling him I'm reloading. It's just, you used to get used to saying it. And then you realize, ah, oh, I'm on my own. It's uh, not so cool. Oh, you won't have... I mean, 183, you dirty grub. Such a different... Such a... Look at the, the heat tracer. Look at the... Oh, man. Love the nostalgia. Lay it on thick. Bouncing. Bouncing now. Everyone's bouncing. Oh, 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 oh. Ow. Such a beast of a tank, the 50M. Look at that upper plate. Just no fun for anyone. And there's no damage counter here either, so you can't really see it. Jeez, that's a clutch bounce. That's a clutch miss. Come on, baby. Hit the cock. Oh, they're coming in from everywhere. Big bounce. Big bounce. Oh, yeah. Jeez, this is pretty good. I mean, I'm excited. Just out here dueling death on the flank. Oh, take a hit. Ah! Dude, there's still three tanks left. I think they're all one shots. <laughs> Damn it. Seven and a half K. And here the old defeated. Let's follow this Bat Chat game in and uh, just marvel at how beautiful the game looks nowadays. It's such a different game. And playing a Bat Chat where it's just so dynamic makes such a difference. I do feel like they've made the Bat Chat better than it used to be. I was talking to Mr. Ouija today. We actually had a few runs. Um, and it was great fun, right? Uh, we had a few runs and it was, it was all good good giggles in that but he was like you got to try the bat chat out it's really killing it yeah so i'll give it a shot and yeah as usual i i just love it i find it oh this is really bad actually this is where i nearly blow this game uh, i was expecting him to be pushing around and try and get to the waffle tractor and uh turns out he wasn't going for the waffle tractor and then i was like he's backing up he's got none left and then i was like oh maybe he does have some left and and I just panicked and didn't hit anything. And then I was like, I've got to reset the cap. So I'm going over here. And things are tight. Things are tough all around. The Sheridan is still alive. I don't know where he is. I'm very worried about the Sheridan. I've just seen him on the mini map. But I'm like, well, maybe I can get away with it. And then I'm like, no, you can't get away with it. You certainly can't get away with it. It's a T30 down in the cap. Oh, hello. Reset. Good days. Full reload. 
STB has a really good game here. I actually played very well at the start of this game, screwed up the middle section, and then came good towards the end again. Just missed that, but I think the STB cleans up the spare. I can't wait till every tank in the game has these HD textures because some of them just seem to be a bit bland now. Uh, Yeagaru doing the business. Oh, unfortunate. One pussycat. Got to hit them all here. I know he's on a reload, so I'm just taking my time. Switch to the heat. And make it happen. 2v2. STB1 is down in the cap with the T30. Type 71 pushing on around Donkey Kong style. We are down. We are down and deep. Here we go. Looking for that T30 action. There he goes. Ooh. Now I'm worried about where that 71 is because even if I've got a lot of hit points left and I can probably take a shot for the 71. Um, not a lot of hit points. Some hit points. I'm worried about the 71 just because it's a Type 71 and he's made of Type 71 stuff. There he is. So straight away, I'm like, booming. That chat style around the outside, 64, 65, really motoring here. This is lovely stuff. Love the mobility on the chat. Chat, chat, chatity, chat, McChatterson. Yes. Missed him, but I'm charging. I'm charging. I'm charging. This is the last one left. And at least if I make him use the shell, the STB-1 can probably pull around and get him. And he's waiting for me. Yep, yeah, no worries. There's one. <laughs> he didn't leave me much. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, the game looks just sensational now. No way around it. Uh, so much improved. And this is a hell of a device. The iPad Pro. Hope you like it. Look after yourself. Stay safe in the battlefield. And until next time, bye for now.